Yo, how's everyone doing today? This is B with well, Let's Talk About Tech. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Good Lock app. Now, if you don't know about the Good Lock app, it's an app from Samsung that pretty much lets you totally customize your Samsung device. All right. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate y'all being here. Also, anybody watching this video right now that's not subscribed, I want you to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do, you want to open up the Galaxy Store. And then you want to search for Good Lock. There we go, let's get that opened up. You want to go ahead and get that downloaded. Okay, this is going to be the Good Lock app. Now I'm not going to go over everything. There's too many options here to go over everything, but I'm going to go over the stuff that I find important and the stuff that I find pretty cool. All right, so first we'll go to Lock Star. Here you pretty much can totally customize your entire lock screen. So we're gonna go right here to edit portrait lock screen. Okay, so over here on the positions tab, you can move around anything on the lock screen. You can move around your clock. You can move around your, your notifications. Over here on wallpaper, they got a few different wallpapers down here to choose from. Clock, you got a bunch of different clocks down here to choose from. Let's just test one out real quick, let's go. Let's go with this one and let's put it on the bottom. Let's like switch it up and just put this up here. Let's put the clock on the bottom and just see how it looks. Let's press save. Now let's go to our lock screen. And there we go. We got the clock on the bottom. Like I said before, it's like totally customizable. You can do whatever you want with your lock screen. So I think that's really cool. You also can edit the landscape lock screen if you'd like to. Okay, so next, let's go to Quick Star. Okay, so here you can pretty much customize your quick panel. If you guys don't know what the quick panel is, this is your quick panel right here, all right? So you can pretty much change the color of your quick panel. Like right now, I got the blue one going, but if I wanted to switch to this one right here, I just tap on it, and now I got the different uh, quick panel. I'm gonna go with the green one for Christmas. You can have this one going. So now we got the green one. So it's a bunch of different colors. You can actually create your own colors and your own buttons and icons and stuff like that. This is a really cool feature. Okay, so right here on the visibility of indicator icons, this is gonna be the indicator icons on top up here. Wi-Fi signal, the battery percentage. If you uh, click on this, you can uh, take away anything you want like if you look up here you'll see those things start to disappear if you don't want those on top you can take them away and you can add them back if you want to just like that so that's a pretty cool feature i like that next we're going to go to clock settings your clock up here you can actually have it to the left you can hide it or you can bring it over to the right so now i got my clock there if i want to hide it now my clock has disappeared All right, next, it's gonna be show notifications by last update. So basically with this one, if you turn this on, like all your notifications are gonna be in timed order. So when you check your notifications, the one that's gonna be most current is gonna be up top, and then the ones less current is gonna be on the bottom. All right, next, let's go to clock face. Okay, so here we can change our clock style on the always on display or the lock screen. So let's do this one first. Okay, so it's a bunch of different options right here for clocks. I get a lot of questions about what clock I'm using. If you come here, you got a bunch of different options. Let's just go with this one. Let's go to our lock screen. I'm mean, always on display, so there we go. We got our clock right there. It's really easy to change. It's really easy to switch. bicycle one let's get that applied now we got the bicycle on our front screen if you want to change your lock screen clock just tap on that one now we got a bunch of different options for this one as well 
If you want to go with this one, you can tap on that. Just press a little check mark right there. There goes our clock right there. So we got so many options. You can make your phone totally customized to your preference. Okay, next, let's go to Multistar. Okay, with this one, with the quick launch of the multi window, if you turn this one on, you can hold down your a recent key and it'll pretty much activate multi window. So if I hold that down, now I got multi window just like that, super easy. So I think that's a really nice feature. And it's a bunch of different stuff in here. Like I said, it's too much stuff to go over, but you can come here and just kind of play around. They got a bunch of different options here. All right, next, Navstar. Here you can pretty much change your navigation buttons. So these are gonna be your navigation buttons on the bottom down here. If you wanna change how they look, you just tap on, on the one you want and then it's gonna change on the bottom down there. Okay, so next we'll go to family. Okay, so here is a bunch of different options over here as well. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Pentastic. Okay, so here you can change your air command menu. So this is gonna be your air command menu right here. This is the one that comes with the phone. This is gonna be the stock menu right here. But if you wanted to change it, you can go over here, use. So now it's gonna look a little bit different when I open up my air command menu. So I think this is really cool. This is one of my favorite ones right here. This is the retro one. This is back on like the Note, I think the Note 4, the Note 3. So this is like super old school. I really like this one. So now when I click it, it's gonna be this one right here. So I think this is awesome. Also, you can change your pointer. So you got the pointer changed to like a arrow if you want to, or a heart. You got a bunch of different options here as well. You can actually create your own custom pointer if you want to. Let's go to one-handed operation. Okay, so here there's gonna be one-handed operation plus. If you turn this on, it's gonna create these little handles on the side right there. And you can actually like change the functions of the actual handles. So right now by default, if you swipe right, it's gonna go back. If you swipe diagonally up, it's gonna to go to the recent key. And if you swipe diagonally down, it's gonna to go to the back key. So for example, if I wanna go back, you just do that. If I wanna do the recent key, go like that. Now I got my recents up. If I go down diagonally, now I go back again. So, and like I said, you can come in here and you can actually change the function, the app or like the volume, whatever you wanna do. You can turn the screen off. So many different options here. So I think this feature is really cool. And you can have it on either side if you want to. You can turn one off or you can have both sides on. So super customizable here. Okay, I like this one as well too. This one's gonna be sound assistant. I think this feature is really cool for people who use the Z Fold 3 in their car with the wireless car charger. Cause in the car charger, your volume button is being blocked by the actual charger. So you can't change the volume, but with this app, you can come here, you can turn this on. So now you got this uh, floating icon. It's gonna open up your sound. So now you got your, your phone in your car on the charger. You can actually still adjust the volume if you want to. So I think that's really cool. You tap on it, you're gonna get more options there. So this is a really nice feature. You can put it anywhere on the screen you want to, on the sides. All right, let's see. And like I said, it got a ton of different options in here as well. I highly encourage you guys to get this app and try it out and check out all the different features they got in here. Let's see, anything else? A theme park. You could just come here and change your theme. You can change your keyboard. You can change pretty much anything. You can change your wallpapers and whatnot. So this is a really cool, feature right here okay so that's gonna do it for today's video guys like i said before i highly recommend you guys try out the good lock app it's super cool it's super useful if you guys got any questions or comments hit me up below i'll be happy to answer if you guys want to see more videos like this smash that like button smash that subscribe button other than that you guys have a good day peace out